It's like every day when I wake up, I think, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get through another day? With four babies? Yeah. That's it, though. Because they're not all sleeping at the same time. One of them's always throwing up, or it wants feeding, or it wants changing, and I'm just... I'm tired. I try to help. I'm not saying that you don't. It's me. I can't cope. Must be so hard on yourself. Sometimes when they are all asleep, I'm too scared to shut my eyes because of the nightmare, so I just lie there wide awake, but then I get these voices in my head telling me that I'm letting them down and that they'd be better off with somebody else. And every time I get rid of one of the thoughts, then another one comes and it takes its place. And it's that bad that I try to sleep, but I can't. It's like I'm in this dark tunnel and I, I can't cope. I feel like I've got nothing left. But you don't want to harm yourself. Or harm the children. I'm so sorry, Jess. Gemma, listen to me. Have you ever actually harmed any of the babies? But sometimes when I'm holding them, I just, I just think about letting go. And then fall to the floor, dropping them. Letting them slip underwater when they're in the bath. And last week I was by this main road with the buggy and I was looking down at my hands and I thought, if, if I let go now, then the buggy will just roll into the road and the buggy will go under the wheels of the lorry and that'll be it, that'll be the end of it. She never said a word. The feelings you're talking about are more common than you might think, especially amongst mothers who are suffering from postnatal depression, which is what I believe you have. So you can't help her? Gemma has taken the first step on the road to her recovery by coming back here today and being so honest about how you're feeling. Now, that can't have been easy. I feel so ashamed. That's why I didn't tell you, Chess, because I didn't want you to think that I'm a freak. You're not a freak, and you mustn't think like that. You are sleep-deprived. You are emotionally and physically exhausted. And one new baby's a shock to the system. You've had four. I didn't think that being a mum was going to be this hard. Tell you what, give us a ring first thing in the morning. All right. Mum! Mum! Oh, you need help. I'm really sorry, but you need to come. It's my grandson. Let's go. 